Hey Booktube, this is Friday Reads. I'm Jen and I talk about audiobooks and this weekend I have a lot to tell you about. I'm not in my normal spot. I've switched things up a little bit because I hate things always staying the same. I, I like to switch things up from time to time and so all the, the standard shelves that you always see are over there. It's just I thought, ah, I'm just going to do it over here today. So beautiful sunshiny day and it promises to be a gorgeous weekend and it is the start this weekend of the Book Buddy-a-thon and I'm going to be doing that with my sweet wonderful friend Michaela of Michaela Eve Reads whom I love. Mwah! love that girl. This happened last year and I didn't get to do it because I didn't find a buddy in time and so when the announcement went out this time I thought I'm grabbing Michaela so I did. I said you're mine, you're mine, I call you. <laughs> she just, what was she gonna say? She was kind of coerced into it by me but you know we have a lot of uh, common taste when it comes to books, the books we read. I recommend a lot of things to her, she does to me and we always like what we recommend to each other oddly enough you know it's like that it works we just it works so there are five challenges to this readathon it starts tomorrow which is a Saturday and it goes through this last week of October and I'll put all the links to all the information for it in the box below um, the book buddyathon was started by Elena from Elena Reads Books and Sam at Colty and Crumbs and it is the second annual one so Find yourself a buddy and do it because it's just, I think it's just going to be great. I've already actually started reading, which is technically not cheating because my partner lives on the other side of the world, 14 hours ahead of me. And so I, when I talk to her, I'm talking to the future. <laughs> Let me tell you about these five challenges. The first one is just to buddy read a book. Yeah. Well, we are going to read The Queen of All That Dies by Laura Thalassa. This was a book that uh, Michaela had in a list of books that she did a video about and said I have all these books which one should I read first these are all ones that I am considering and I said I like that author I had read her Vanishing Girls series uh, there are only two books out in the series right now um, she's writing the third one and it should be out I think early next year but it's The Vanishing Girl and then The Decaying Empire and I really liked those two books um, they are new adult that one's sci-fi, but The Queen of All That Dies is dystopian. But the key thing there being that it's not young adult, it's new adult, which is kind of refreshing. The themes that they handle are just a little more adult. Uh, this is a dystopian about a country at war. Well, actually, it's the world is at war. Uh, the western half of the world is at war with the eastern half of the world. The eastern half of the world is winning. It's ruled by a king who is ruthless, who pretty much kills anybody that comes to negotiate any kind of peace terms or surrender. And so the main character is named Serenity. Where do they get these names? Seriously, Serenity? Okay, yeah, it's just my opinion, but... Anyway, she's the main character and she's the daughter of a general who is sent as a diplomat to come to terms of a surrender with this king and uh, it's just the story of what happens. So I'm at chapter five so far and I, I'm in. I'm in, it's hard to put down. So I hope that it keeps being as good as it is. And Michaela is saying the same thing. So <laughs> big shock there. We are of the same mind, we really are. Uh, number two, challenge two, read a book with pictures. Well, although I thought Michaela would suggest a little kid's book because she has little kids, whom I desperately would like to get my hands on and just hug and squeeze and kiss. And I can't because they're across the other side of the world. But I thought she would suggest a kid's book that would be like a breeze to get through, take 10 minutes or something. But she said, hey, how about a book with a map? And I thought, this is why I wanted you as my buddy. Because you are a genius, Michaela. You are a genius. I, I'm adopting this girl. Okay, so we chose Six of Crows because it has a map. So that counts as a picture, right? This is by Leigh Bardugo, and it is set in the same universe as her previous series, which was the Grisha uh, series. There's one of the maps. It has actually more than one. And so this is uh, set in the same world, but it's a different kind of story with completely different characters. 
it's a heist story. So lots of points of view, 13 hours of narration, uh, probably about that many narrators. Uh, so it's going to be, I think, a nice departure set in that world and yet not the same as the other series, which Michaela and I agree. We both really like that series, but we didn't love it. Like we weren't, you know, amazed by it or anything. So we're kind of going at this with a kind of open mind thinking, well, if we like it, great. And if we don't, well, okay, we'll just say, hey, let's, you know, stop and cut our losses and do something else. If we do like it, though, and we run out of books, which we may because she and I read pretty fast, we have Crooked Kingdom to be able to follow that up with. So I will be listening to these. She'll be reading them probably on her iPad. I don't know. She might listen, too. I don't know. The Queen of All That Dies is not available on audio, so I'll be reading that on my iPad. Well, I am reading it on my iPad. I really want to get back to it, and I had to stop and film this, so... Okay, challenge three is read a book that starts with the first letter of your buddy's name. And challenge four is read a book just because. Okay, well, I got all confused, and so did she, and it got to be way too much trouble to find a title of a book with the letter of the name and the whole nine yards. So we just uh, kind of meshed those two together and chose two books. And if you really want a better explanation of that, I'm going to direct you to Michaela's TBR video. Uh, she can explain it a lot better than I am explaining it now, but we chose two books. And the first was A Week of Mondays by Jessica Brody. This is a YA contemporary about a girl who has a very bad Monday and wakes up the next day, which should be Tuesday, but it's still Monday. And she repeats a week's worth of Mondays, kind of like Groundhog Day. So it just looks really cute, quick, fast, sweet, you know, fun. So that's technically Michaela's book, although I'm going to read it too. And my book is 26 Kisses by Anna Michaels. I think it's Michaels. Her name is spelled M-I-C-H-E-L-S. So it's like Michaels, Michaels. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. And so huge apologies. I, I don't like to get names wrong. I think that's really important to get names right. So anyway, 26 Kisses, another um, YA contemporary that is about a girl who is heartbroken and in order to get through her heartbreak she's going to kiss a boy um, whose name starts with every letter of the alphabet. So she's going to kiss 26 boys with 26 kisses or something like that. I don't know. It just looks really delightful. Very sweet little YA contemporary. Again, we're probably going to whiz through that like nobody's business. So uh, the last challenge is just to read five books. And so we're going to see where we are probably Wednesday or Thursday of the week coming ahead and just kind of gauge and say, okay, do we need more books? Probably we will because I think we're going to whiz through all of these books. Maybe not Six of Crows because it's a little, it's longer, but, um, yeah, I think we're still going to need more books. So we have some ideas about things we want to read. Um, Maybe some zombies, maybe some more dystopia, YA, maybe some YA sci-fi. And I don't know, we're just going to kind of play that by ear. So I am so excited to be talking with her. We talk on Voxer, which is like, it's real time. And it's like talking on a walkie-talkie. So it's almost like being on the phone with someone, which is great because when they're on the other side of the world, it's really, it's just great. Um... I do have to show you this thing of beauty that is behind me. This came in the mail yesterday. My husband brought it in about 1 o'clock in the morning, dropped the cardboard box onto the sofa. I was talking with Michaela, actually, and, and I couldn't believe it. It got here. It got here a little late, but that was okay. I'm totally fine with that. I have the arc of this. This is Gemina by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, and... It did not contain, I got it at BookCon, and it didn't contain all the illustrations, the graphics that this has. This whole series, this and Illuminae, which was the first book, are built on the format, and it's really cool. It's just so good. It could be really cheesy, and it's just not at all. It is so cool. It's told in uh, kind of excerpts of of emails and text messages and instant messages and uh, documents that were sent uh, between people and 
And you get things like pictures of people who are parts of teams and uh, they X them out as they die, as the characters die. You have stuff like this, which is just a really wonderfully graphic way of expressing what's happening in the story. In this particular one, Marie Lu did some of the illustrations. And that's because the main character is named Hannah and she is an artist. And so she has a journal that she carries with her. And so the journal is a key part of the story. And so because of that, you get a lot of pictures from the journal like this. These were done by Marie Lu, who wrote the Legend Trilogy. I didn't realize, I mean, I knew, I think I knew she was uh, somewhat of a graphic artist and had done some work with video games, but she's an author. So I, you know, how cool is it that she did some of the illustrations for that? So, so now I have the finished copy and actually one of the books that Michaela and I may think about reading if we need another book is Illuminae. Uh, she and I both have it, and we've both read it before, but it would be fun to read it again. So, And uh, I guess that's it. This is a beautiful weekend. The sun is shining, coming in and out, and, you know, wreaking havoc on my lighting, but I'll take it because it's beautiful sunshine. And it's getting cooler here in the U.S. where I live, which I really want to whine about, but I'm not going to because the sun is shining, and any day that you need sunglasses is a good day. It's a good day. So I hope you have a great weekend. Be sure and check out the book Buddy-a-thon. See if maybe you want to participate. And if you've read any of the books that Michaela and I are going to read, let me know what you thought of them. And if you're going to participate and you have a list of books that you're going to read, let me know what those are too because I would love to know what you're reading. And that is just about it for now from me. So have a great weekend and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.